up everybody, welcome to Scotty TV. Today is February 9th, 2016, and today I thought I'd give you a little history about a woman named Lucy Parsons. The strongest argument that can be made as to why all radical activists should study the life and works of Lucy Parsons is that the FBI wants you to know nothing about her. Lucy L. Dean Gonzalez Parsons died in 1942 at the age of 89 in a house fire in Chicago, the city in which she lived most of her life. The ashes had hardly cooled before the Chicago police raided the remains of her home, confiscated all three thousand volumes of literature and writings on sex, socialism, and anarchy, which constituted her personal library. Tragically, and despite her comrades' repeated inquiries, this treasure trove of revolutionary material was never again to see the light of day. Indeed, the Chicago police had ample reason to want to bury Parsons' legacy as quickly as possible. In their own words, she was more dangerous than a thousand rioters. For virtually the entirety of the last 40 years of her life, the Chicago police tried to bar her from making any public speeches and routinely arrested her for the crime of handing out revolutionary pamphlets on the street. Famed labor historians even noted how rare of a privilege it was to hear Parsons address a large audience in her later years, owing to the constant police harassment. Overlooked by history partially because so much of her own writings were disappeared by the government, and partially because she was a revolutionary woman of color speaking out against the injustices of a capitalist society run by white men. Lucy Parsons is one of the least known of the major figures in the history of revolutionary socialism in the United States. Lucy Parsons made a tremendous contribution to the birth of America's turn of the century revolutionary working class movement, a movement which continues to this day to shape the character of class, struggle, and revolutionary politics in this country. Historian Robin Kelly argues that Lucy Parsons was not only the most prominent black woman radical of the late 19th century, but was also one of the brightest lights in the history of revolutionary socialism. Historian John McClendon writes that she is notable for being the first black activist to associate with the revolutionary left in America. So the story of Lucy Parsons was basically stolen from us by the government. At the time when she died, they confiscated everything that she had written, every piece of literature that she had written, and it has not been seen ever since. Or maybe there's something we can do now that could possibly get these writings discovered and get them released to the public, because at this point, every bit of history that we have needs to be embraced. It has to be a reason why her writings and her, all of her literature were basically stolen from us and never given back. And that, if that doesn't open your eyes to say that we should fight to get these writings released, then I don't know what will. But that's actually going to do it for me for today. Uh, definitely check back with me tomorrow for another video. Well, today for another video. Because it's actually morning, February 10th right now. So uh, definitely check back with me later today for another video. Uh, definitely feel free to like, comment on this video. Uh, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. So uh, be black, be proud. Peace.